I was baptized at 10, but I think I was converted at perhaps 23, 24, as I walked into the first floor of the Kirtland Temple. I was born and raised in eastern Jackson County in the state of Missouri in the U.S., and was raised going to Community of Christ. My dad's family joined the church in the 19th century, late 19th century in Australia. My grandfather on my mom's side was converted in Denmark in the early 20th century by the cause of Zion. My mom's family uh, was there in New York in the earliest years. But I have to say, as a young person, I wasn't really captured by the church. Went away to University of Missouri in Columbia and studied Russian studies and economics. As I was finishing and interviewing for uh, other positions, I learned about a museum management internship through Graceland University, uh, and I ended up signing up and going to Nauvoo, Illinois for the summer, the Joseph Smith Historic Site. And I thought I had to learn a little bit about what I was gonna be doing before I went. And I picked up Robert Bruce Flanders' Nauvoo, Kingdom on the Mississippi, and I was just captured by the history. And I went to Nauvoo, spent the summer there, and, and just fell in love with the church through its history. I went to Kirtland, Ohio my second summer, went into the Kirtland Temple, and I went downstairs and into the lower court of Kirtland Temple, first time I'd ever been there. And I was almost knocked over by the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, and at that point, I realized that it was more than just great history. I met my wife, Kristen, in Joseph Smith's Red Brick store. I spent almost my entire adult life living at important communities in our history, Kirtland and Nauvoo. Lately, I've been particularly drawn to section 162, 2A of the Doctrine and Covenants. Listen carefully to your own journey as a people, for it is a sacred journey and has taught you many things you must know for the journey yet to come. There's so much in our sacred story that can empower us as we move out into the world today. I love the way that temples and community of Christ have always been almost missional machines, places to prepare us not to go home, but to go into the world. A place uh, to be empowered by the Holy Spirit and empowered through education to go out and, and build God's kingdom on earth, to build Zion. I find great hope and joy for the journey ahead in the response uh, to community of Christ of seekers around the world today. The number of people who are finding hope and our message of hope and who are finding acceptance in community of Christ uh, people whose lives have been torn asunder by questions of faith, uh, by the way they have been treated by family and friends, are discovering in Community of Christ that the definition of family can be bigger than blood. Uh, we are one in Jesus Christ, and to see the way that that, that message is connecting in the world today brings me great hope.